Hello and happy Tuesday. It's my birthday and my boss just sent me these cupcakes. How cool is that? They're from a company called Baked by Melissa and they're fully vegan. There are strawberry, triple chocolate chip, peanut butter, which will be Austin's, <laughs> dark chocolate coconut, maple cinnamon bun, and chocolate vanilla chip. Let's see if I can get the lid off. <gasps> Look at that. Uh oh, we're struggling. We're struggle bussing. Oh, it's hinged. Yeah, it's hinged. You okay. really should take it out of the thing. Oh, look at them. How cute. Also, happy birthday to me. Oh, Our really heater cool. needs like a thousand dollar repair. The insurance adjuster came. Mm -hmm. A different flooring person for the insurance adjuster <laughs> came. It's just been appointments after appointment today. So these cupcakes are coming at a very nice time. Okay, I'm gonna try the chocolate vanilla chip. Mm. Pretty good. Happy birthday, mother. Happy birthday, Amanda. Is that what did you We are at dinner. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Um, oh, I've got oh, the tomato soup and some fries. <laughs> Austin's got this huge salad. I like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Of course, they're going to have raw too. Austin got some horchata ice cream. <laughs> vegan ice cream. I wanted to show you guys my birthday presents before I went to bed tonight. Um, my sister-in-law got this mug. Home is where them fuckers ain't. Love it. This headband. My brother gave me a Target gift card. My mom got me a gift card for the movies and a local restaurant and she also brought us a couple of cupcakes from her work party they happen to just coincidentally get vegan ones for her work party so she brought a couple home for us and so now we have extra cupcakes which i'm very excited about and it was a nice birthday after all the appointments and insurance and home crap hello and happy wednesday I am reorganizing my Poshmark stash. This week I've listed a lot of items. I was holding on to a lot of things that I actually really like, but just don't fit me in the hope that they would fit me eventually. But um, I just need to list them and set them in a pile of things that don't fit. But if they do ever fit, I will unlist and keep. So that's what I've been doing this week, slowly listing like four or five items a day. And I needed to get reorganized. My box stashes are getting a little out of control. So that's what I've been up to this morning. So this is what I've got going on so far. And it's not bad. This is the stuff I like that I'd like to keep. I fit, I fit again and then the rest of it's just organized by like product type. I'm torn about keeping these little boxes. These Love Goodly boxes are big enough to fit a t-shirt or a small like cardigan or something. So if someone orders just one t-shirt or cardigan, they're perfect. But I also already have like so many boxes. And I'm like, do I need to keep these? I don't know. I'll probably hold on to them for a little while. And if I don't find I'm selling anything that needs to go in them, then it is what it is. And then this pile is the most frustrating because... I need a couple big boxes for if I sell a coat or a, a suit jacket or something, but they're so annoying to store because they're so big. So that's what I'm working with right now. This is everything that's left that's not listed aside from the ones that I pulled out for the next uh, time I get the urge to list. I Every time I list more, I pull four more out and put it here on the door where I take my picture. It's that way. The next four are already there when I get the energy to post. They're already there. And then these items need to get listed. And then these are just items that are just easier to hang for storing. It's like a dress Austin's grandma wore to a wedding. A couple of suits. All the shoes I have for sale are down here too. Thinking about pulling these boots off and just sending them to the Goodwill because they're big and I don't feel like continuing to store such large shoes. These ones are all a bit smaller, so it's not that big a deal. I don't shoe sell shoes that often, so 
that's that's something I'm thinking about too. And then here, this pile is pants that don't necessarily fit me that well right now, but because my thighs rub together like crazy, are too damaged on the inner thigh to actually list. And then two white shirts I don't find myself wearing very often, but are a little yellowed in the pits, so I can't sell. So I don't know what to do with that pile either. But this is what I'm up to today, besides working and answering emails and had a call this morning. Let me turn the camera around. And then Austin texted me that the part that we needed for our heater actually was, they were able to locate it really quickly. They told us it would be like a week. So they may be coming today to fix the heater and it's gonna cost less money than we expected. So very, very happy about that. We don't have to worry about that too much. It'll just be done. And then we can just focus on the floors. So it'll be one thing off the list, which I'm glad to have one thing off the list. Hello and happy Wednesday. No, fuck, it, it's Thursday, I think. We walked to get a coffee, we're all out of beans. So we gotta get to the grocery store this weekend and get some new beans. I'm struggling. Fran has taken to being very affectionate in the middle of the night. Two nights in a row now, so um, I'm exhausted. Hi, y'all. I'm on the floor, but whatever. <laughs> I can be on the floor for this. I just picked up my boots from the restoration shop. Brand new bottoms. They completely, like, repaired boxes put a tread on them so I've had these for I think I got them my senior year of college so it'll be around 11 years I've had these and so let's hope we get another 11 years because one they're leather these are one of the items I didn't get rid of when going vegan because they were already beat to hell there was no way I was going to be selling them no one would want them so I figured, let me just wear them until they're dead. But then I realized you can't even find a nice slouchy cowboy boot. It's so hard to find in this like blonde color. So I'm just going to keep taking care of them until they literally fall apart. But I'm very happy that I got those repaired. Guess I'll do a little outfit of the day since I've got you positioned well. So I've got these sea foamy colored jeans on from J. Crew that I wear once in a while and I've got the top from room service that I picked up at Goodwill and Frederick when we went thrifting and then I had my little uh, teen boots on little sock boots and I was rather pleased with the outfit oh and I had my Telfar bag as well my little orange one I just thought the colors were all kind of fun together so that was today's look <laughs> So now that I am down to just a few items left to be listed on Poshmark, except I can't list this because the bottom is frayed. Well, I guess I could and just say the bottom is frayed, but I'm thinking about what to do with this one. But now that I'm down to just a couple of items that aren't fitting me right now, that I'm going to list for better or worse, even though I love them and I don't want to list them. These are either the last ones on the rack because I love them so much. I don't want to list them, but they don't fit right now. So the universe is telling me at least progress a little and list them. Anyway, now that I'm down to just a couple items left, I am wondering if I should go through my dress collection and make sure everything I own still fits since it's getting a little thick in here. And I thought I would ask you guys if you wanted a video on that. If you would like a video of me trying on every single dress in my dress collection to see one if I still like it, and two, if it still fits, let me know. That would be a long video. It would probably um, take me several days to get through filming because I imagine I would get tired of putting on dresses and taking them off. But if it's something you guys would be interested in, let me know. Hello and happy, is it Friday? Wait, oh, I have not changed the calendar on the fridge. I should probably do that. Hello and happy Friday. I'm so glad it's Friday. I'm kind of over this week. It's just been an emotional roller coaster. Uh, so a couple of updates. 
I actually got to sleep last night. Fran, let me sleep. So I'm feeling refreshed. Ah, oh, so refreshed. I have coffee warming on the fridge. I got a large yesterday from Good Neighbor because I know I wouldn't drink a whole large coffee. So I'm warming that up. Met the second half of it to have today. Today is also the day that I email our local delegate council person because all the cars on our street keep getting ticketed, which is ridiculous because if you do not park half on the sidewalk, you cannot get past the cars on the street. So it's either half park on the sidewalk or park normal and cars can't get past, which means they can, they have to ride on the sidewalk to get past. It's recycle day. I don't know how the trash truck's gonna get up the street. So it's been kind of a wild week on our street in particular in that regard. So I'm emailing them today. I finally have the time to craft a nicely worded email. We have a parking pad, so it doesn't really affect us. We're not getting ticketed, but if people are parking in the middle of the street, normal, what would be normal, but in this case, on our thin street, makes it so they li cars literally can't get past one. They can also get ticketed for that, right? Sucks. And two, we won't be able to get out of our parking pad. So, um, it's a lot of hoopla going on, which is not very great. So, um, I'm emailing them today. Because, I mean, there was a shooting down the street a few months ago. It was completely unrelated, but I'm bringing it up because... You know, you hit all the buttons, all the buttons when you're writing these emails. Some be like, people want to park close to their homes to be safe. I, I mean, people want to park close to their homes. I don't think it's really related to that, but I'm gonna write it anyway. Yeah, so I'm just looking out the window now. Literally, the car parked on the sidewalk down the street because people have been doing it overnight since they're obviously not sending someone to ticket overnight. It ain't bothering nobody. We've literally, people have parked on our street that way the entire time we've lived here. And literally the entire time anyone has lived here, they've been doing that my whole life. People have been parking on the street that way. So it's like, what's the deal? So I'm gonna email them. Any other updates? Oh, we got, um, we heard back from the insurance adjuster. We'll be getting pretty much the full amount minus the deductible, which was like, I think like 1600 or something. It's not a wild deductible to redo the floors. So that is that. But the flooring guy, the insurance company brought in is turning down the work because of how complicated it is with them gluing down hardwoods to concrete, which was stupid. It's gonna take a lot of work to get up. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to go with one of the companies we ended up talking to, but we want to go to their storefront and check out all the flooring color options and stuff before we make a final decision. So at least that's moving along. Insurance people are out of it. Now it's literally just flooring people we have to deal with. Actually, I have to figure out how we're going to get all the shit moved. But at least one step of that is done. It's been one thing after another in 2023. If you are someone that said, woo, 2023, this is going to be the year. You are wrong. You are wrong. One other thing I forgot to mention also is that one of our family cats died overnight. My mom texted me about it this morning. So that's also very sad. We were just talking about the age of all of her cats. Um, Lucy was 14 gonna be 15 this year or no maybe she was going to be 14 either way so she was pretty old but she's passed away overnight with really no indication that she wasn't well so I guess it was just old age or something but that's also very sad and something that just happened and another reason 2023 is not a great year so far <laughs> I 
was just sniffing an outfit of the day picture for my Instagram and I noticed this little baby in the hallway waiting on me. Granny, are you being a baby? Are you the cutest kitten in the world? I mean, duh, she's the cutest kitten in the world. I have filmed some clips of this outfit to maybe do a reel on Instagram, but I'll just walk you guys through it since I'm here. I've got my, ooh, my little shorts that were under everything. My cowboy boots, I just said restored, that I've had for like, I don't know, 11, 12 years. This is a J. Crew skirt that's actually from like the swimwear line from over winter, but I saw it and I'm like, I'm gonna want to wear that all the time because it's gorgeous, so I bought it. This is a straw bag, I got it at a Goodwill. And then this is also J. Crew. It's just a brown and cream sweater. Also J. Crew. Um, this is pretty old actually. This is from like when me and Austin first started dating. Just a little uh, statement necklace, but I thought it pulled in the color up top really nice. Of course, my scrunchie I'm always wearing that's always linked down below. That's the look. Just super casual. I'm going to brunch. Went to a Galentine's party last night. And I was around people that I don't typically film around, so I didn't like do a lot of filming. I don't think I did any filming, but it's very cute. And everyone was supposed to make a cocktail, and they weren't all very good. So luckily, I didn't drink very much, so I feel great. <laughs> um, but I pictured this outfit in my head last night before I went to bed, and I was like, I gotta try that. So very happy with it. Threw on the trench with the outfit. It's not perfect, but it's the best I've got for this set of colors and combinations. So I'm heading to brunch. Hello and happy Monday. We were just at the eye doctor's. My eyes are all dilated and I just don't feel good. Like. I'm having the residual effects of car sickness. Like, it hasn't gone away yet. I get so car sick. My tummy is so upset. I'm trying to, like, calm it down so I can eat something. Hoping that makes me feel better. I don't know. I don't feel good. So, I don't feel good, so I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything. I just want to lay here. 